I'm Kuko. I'm a 19-year-old artist from Hawthorne, California. I make music for my bedroom, and yeah, I mean, it's kind of pretty much what I do, to make music. I like being supported. I like knowing that I have other artist homies that are fucking with everything I'm doing because I have ever, like, I never had connections at any point to, like, the industry. Like, my life was, like, literally, like, going to school, watching my mom clean houses, my dad driving limos, and every other weekend having a photography gig. Like, this shit is, like, real. Like, this is, like, no bullshit. Like, this is, like, like raw as fuck, me. Yeah, my mom actually said I was cuckoo. And my family spoke Spanish, so they didn't call me Cuckoo, they called me Cuco. So they said I was a Cuco. Yeah, my parents liked that I played music. Like, they were like, oh, that's dope. My dad was like stoked whenever I went, like, I would learn like a Guns N' Roses song. But when I started taking it seriously, my parents were like, all right, now nah, you gotta go to school. Like, you're fucking in school, like, your grades are shit. My parents were like very like skeptical about everything I was doing with music, and I'm like, fuck, you know. Especially being like first generation, all they, like, they think that was like, possible because like school is kind of like the only way out for a son of immigrant parents and my mom went up to me she was like hey like I think you know you're, you're making money now like you're making a living like I think I think maybe now it's time for you to think maybe consider dropping out of school more than anything else I feel happy because he's doing what he loves to do that was my my, my main my main goal was to um, to Omar or Kuko <laughs> to, to do well in school. That was my, my main thing was like, do good, good in academics and all that kind of stuff. At some point, he asked, um, uh, he asked his uh, mom for, um, for a guitar. And at some point, uh, I told my, my wife, well, he, I don't know if that would be a good idea. And she definitely said, you know what? He wants a guitar. Let's, uh, let's, let's see if he really wants to learn. My, my father always said to him, though, let, let him be whatever he wants to be, you know, he's like that, you know, yeah, my father is, is a cool father, <laughs> you know, he's, he's 78, but he's so cool, yeah, my mom too. Yo fui el primero que le platicaba yo a ustedes, ¿se acuerdan? Porque él quería, desde chiquito, miraba la música y le gustaba la música. Y ya el señor le decía, bueno, si la escuela, ¿verdad? No quiere ir, pues déjenlo lo, que siga lo que él quiere. <risa> But I think what's cool also is that I get to see more artists of color than not just not just coming from Mexican descent, but different orientation with their sexuality and their gender identity. And then not only that, but then like being like non-binary and like fucking and an artist of color, like that's dope to me because like that's like hella representation. That's like very specific, but there's a crowd that needs to hear that shit. Growing up, any first generation child's dream is literally always, I want to help my parents out. I need to get my parents out of working. I want to get my parents out. I want to pay my parents mortgage off. I think one of the big things just in general with the music industry that kind of has to change is like the cluelessness of what to do with the artist. If you can't like put them in a box, because like, why are you trying to put me in a box? Like you literally tell me like, you tell me like, yo, you're so different, but we don't know where to put you. It's like, that's good. Like work with that. You know, people don't know how to work with that. So they're like, yeah, we'll just, we'll just sign another pop artist or another rap artist. I feel like my head is so fucked up sometimes that like, I have this like imaginary world inside my own mind. And like, you know that, that one Tim Paul line? 
party like there's a party in my head and no one is invited like bro i swear like i'll just be like 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 always anywhere like i'll just stop and like start daydreaming and like kind of like lose myself and like everything i'm thinking about i'll be like in the studio just like listening to a loop for like four hours until i get an idea or i realize that i hate it and i just go on to the next song Bro, honestly, I didn't really hear about like the term bedroom pop till like pretty recently. I like to I like to see it as just more artists on the rise, like artists that are gonna make it, that are making it. Literally, since like I, I was growing up, my uncles would always put me on rap music and shit. Like the reason I knew about like Necro and like Pumpkinhead and Immortal Technique and shit. Like that was my uncles. Like they would put me on the shit. I was into like T Pain though, and like. 50 Cent, and then because I was always watching MTV. Like, when we, were, when we barely moved in here, I had this like little TV like this big, and like I would just always sit like right next to it, watching like all like the, the music videos on the TV, I was just like putting that shit out. And like I finally started working on, like I'm, I'm finally working on rap music more because like, that's always kind of what I wanted to do. Like I love rap music like a lot, but I also like a bunch of other music and I feel like I just, I like combining elements and shit. Cause like, the drums I use aren't real drums generally over like my like guitar melodies and shit. It's just like, like straight away to shit. I'm not even gonna lie bro, like I, I like being an artist, but at the same time I fucking hate it. Like I, I love it because I, I get to impact people. But the other side of it for me at the same time, it's like, I have like really bad social anxiety. I have like, I'm like the laziest fucking person ever. And at the same time being like one of the few artists of color that's making it in the general music industry and not just being categorized as a Latin artist, there's a lot of pressure for me. My album is a mess right now. Very experimental. It's but it has a lot of elements that I that are very like just me. I don't condone it in any way, but I hope that if people aren't under psychedelics they're having a good trip to my music. I don't know, I just, I just wanted to be like a wavy album. Whatever I put out, I had fun making it. Even if it sounds like trash, even if it sounds like garbage. Like even if, it, if it's like the worst thing anybody's ever heard, like I had fun making it. Because I feel like people also hate like the fact that like I'm a guy and I'm making like this super soft music. So I like seeing like really big white buff dudes looking like pissed at me because I'm there on stage being successful and brown.